Hello you sparkly people, my name's Suzanne, welcome to Stone Magpie. Today I've got an unpackaging for you. This package is from GBFKE and there's quite a lot to get through in this haul. Thank you to Nathan for getting all of the products together for me to show you today. Okay, let's open the package up because I've not had any sneak peeks myself. We will be discovering it all together. And I'm gonna take out one by one, a bit like a lucky dip. So, here we go. Have a rummage around. It's just been like a little child again. <laughs> okay, what have we got first? We've got a 30 by 40 diamond painting. Going to crack on with it because we've got a lot to get through. Oh, so exciting. I love unboxing new kits and seeing what they're all about. So a 30 by 40. Oh yes, I remember. So, unfold it for you. Oh my goodness me. Now, I saw this on the website and I thought how beautiful this is with the big full moon. Now, I do love a full moon and I was looking for a diamond painting that didn't have anything really obscuring the moon. And I saw this one with those beautiful flowers underneath and it really grabbed me. I think the colours in this one as well are so beautiful with the lilacs soft pinks, greens and soft yellows. It will be interesting to see the diamonds in this one, to see how soft they are. So, of course, being a folded diamond painting, we do have a few creases in the canvas. So best usually to put something heavy on top of it, Pop it under your mattress if you've got a divan bed and it will flatten out after a few hours. I always recommend that you do that before starting your diamond painting because once you get the diamonds on, it's a little bit trickier if there are creases in it to get it flat. So a little bit of prep first. We've got 21 colours in this kit. Here is the picture of what it's going to look like and we've got different symbols oh one to eight in one to eight order and then capital letters in alphabetical order too yes i love that because i do think it makes it easier when kitting up okay it's a 30 by 40 let me get my little tape measure and we'll see how true that size is I did notice on some of the other kits that the website does stipulate the two sizes, but this one didn't. So we will quickly check. It is 35 by, mm, oh, there we are, 25. 35 by 25. And I think you get really good detail in this diamond painting for that size. So looking at the symbol clarity, just fold back the protective cover a little bit so we can have a closer look. Oh, it's really glossy, very nice. And you can see the symbols here, really clear. On the darker backgrounds, they have the white lettering and it does look clear to me. I don't think I would struggle with that. And I do have, I do have to wear reading glasses. I do struggle sometimes with my eyesight but that one is okay for me. So hopefully it would be for you too if you're loving this image as much as me. <gasps> that full moon just looks so beautiful. Letter T is 3865. So I think it's going to be quite a soft white. Let's have a look. So the kit we get is the basic toolkit with a green tray, pink wax and a single placer diamond pen. Looking at the moon in the background, there is a lot of colour blocking there. So you may want to get yourself 
a pen with a multi-placer to do that bit if you want to. Okay, the diamonds themselves, they are round diamonds in this kit. Oh, they're in their self-seal baggies, which I do sometimes complete the smaller kits. In fact, I have done a bigger kit out of the packets themselves. So no need to kit up unless you really want to. It looks like they're in number order. I'm probably going to mess them all up, but hey ho, I like to have a good look. So we've got soft, these are, we've got soft green grey, a soft blue, soft greens, and quite a bright pink lilac. Oh, I'm just going to mess them up. I don't want to be um <laughs> I don't want to be neat, I want to delve into these colours. I'm gonna turn it over. Right. Soft mushroom, soft, uh, what colour would I say? A tan, a cream, a coral, greys. There's the moon colour, number 21. So it is a soft cream white. Green, antique rose, lilac, purple brown, dark blue and green. So as I thought, I am so pleased that the colours are so soft for this diamond painting and those dark colours will really make the paler colours pop from the canvas. <gasps> really pretty, pretty. I think that is going to be beautiful when it's finished. So that is kit number one. It is called Garden Under Moon, and it is a full round diamond painting, £4.23 on the website. And I will put all of the links for the kits in the description box below. So if you're interested in these, you can find them easily yourselves. Next kit. Oh, yes. This one is so striking, as you can already tell. Let's have a look. So much fun. Let's see what we get with this kit. It is a 40 by 40 diamond painting. Oh, how lovely. Again, it has been folded in the pack. So it will need a little bit of pressing down before you start diamond painting. But look at this image. Now, I always think there's something lovely about a square image, be it a painting, a diamond painting, any sort of art. I think when it's square, it's really, really beautiful. And this one with its bright, happy sunshine against the mountains, the trees, the trees here, and then the river with that reflection of the sunshine through the middle with the rocks. And look at the colors in this one. Really, really beautiful. I love how the colours go from the bright sun, which immediately hits you when you see the painting, into the reflection of the water. But then look at the trees here. They have lots of different colours in against that turquoise sky is the background. Really, really pretty. The rocks themselves have lovely purples and reds and corals, oranges like the sunset colours as the sun is going down. Is it a sun going down or is it the sun coming up? Your choice. <laughs> Let's have a look. There is the picture at the top of the canvas. And this time we've got all capital letters jumbled up into a different order. But if like me, you kit up by symbol, you can always rearrange those into alphabetical order. Looking at the canvas itself, again, really clear symbols. 
let me know if you agree with me on that. Even in this area here, we've got the white letters in the darker background and the black letters in the brights. I'll just pull back the cover a little bit so we can have a clearer view. Oh, wow, it's, oh, oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at those colors. Yes, I know there's not a lot of color blocking in this one. It's quite confetti heavy, apart from perhaps the sunshine with those J's and Y's but I think this is going to be so worth all of that work. It's gorgeous. Okay, and on the website, this one says 40 by 40, but the actual measurement is 34 by 34. Let's test it. <laughs> say 33 because I've got a few bumps in my canvas so 33 by 33 is the actual painting size and what a lot of fabulous detail for that size oh it's it's really lovely again we've got the basic diamond painting kit with the green tray pink wax and a diamond pen and the diamonds are round And this time they are in the individual packets. So this one will need kitting up into some sort of storage. There we go. So look how bright these colors are. I mean, that color just immediately shouted to me as did this one and the oranges. Oh, look at that blue. Oh, gorgeous. Lots of blues, lots of purples, pinks, reds, oranges, yellow. What's this colour? Oh, it's like a very dark cranberry brown. I'm seeing, is that, that's the three tens here. So we've got seven packs of three tens. Oh, a tiny little pack of the off-white colour. <laughs> lovely, a really lovely selection of rainbow colours for this kit. I think that is stunning. I'm going to be, again, spoilt for choice on which one to start first because I love the moon and I love this one just as much. Ah, oh, next kit. Okay. A 30 by 30 diamond painting. Oh, by the way, that last kit is called Mountains and Rivers. It's a full round and it is £5.96. Oh, bargain. I mean, absolutely beautiful painting for that price. Right, next kit, 30 by 30. A bit different, this one. Let's get it open and we'll have a look. This one struck me as really, really striking. It's a yin-yang design. And look at these bees. They are looking at each other. We've got a blue side and an orange side and they're working together in the yin-yang design. And it isn't a full diamond painting, this one. So we don't have to worry about completing the background completely. But as you will see, there are special shapes for this diamond painting. We've got seven different symbols. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all in number order. Easy peasy, great one, this one for a beginner because we don't have to worry about lining up our diamonds properly and things like that. And you can start anywhere. It is a bite-size 
picture this one and I just think it is beautiful with those two gorgeous worker bees. This one is called the Yin Yang Bee. It is 30 by 30 and it's £4.23. Oh, look at those. Oh, wow. Let's get into this straight away. <laughs> We do have the basic toolkit. Again, green tray, pink wax, single placer diamond pen. And for this kit, we do not need um, any multi-placers. Oh, special diamonds in this kit, everybody. Oh, right. Get into it straight away. I am totally excited. Crystals, round crystals. We've got an orange. We've got a bright pale blue. Look at these. I have never had those before. That is a stunning colour. <gasps> Beautiful. I think it's a black AB, but there's so many different colours sparkling off this diamond. I hope my camera is picking that up as beautiful as what I can see. Oh, gorgeous, we'll have to find out where they go. A clear crystal round, a brighter orange round, and here come some special shapes. Look at these, oh, purple stars. Well, more lilac purple pink, beautiful, and big gold studs. Wow! So that background of all of the stars are going to be that really pretty purple lilac. The stud golds are going to be in the middle here and I want to see where they are placed because that is such a beautiful colour. Symbol three. Oh, it is the bee stripes. And their antennae, their face and their legs on both little bumblebees. Oh, and number four symbol is the clear crystal for their wings. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so pretty. And then we've got the pale blue crystal around the blue bee and we've got the pale orange around the orange bee. Oh, so lovely and a really quick project to do. Great for a beginner. Super, really pleased with that one as well. Next we have, oh yes. Now this one is a whopper absolute whopper. It has got a bit creased in the post. We'll see that when we open it out. But this one, if you see, is a 45 by 85 centimetre. So let's see how much I can get on. I'm just going to remove my camera angle to see if I can get a better shot to get all of this on. Okay, let's try. As I open out this diamond painting and we'll see. So there is a bit of creasing in this top corner which may well go all of the way down. But again, pop it under the bed or under something heavy and it should flatten out okay. So, so far we've got a lovely country cottage surrounded by trees with a pathway, mountains in the background. Going down, we've got some bushes here in different colors with a river a bridge, again surrounded by bushes with a pathway up 
to the house with a lovely lantern on a brick stand. With the stream, some ducky ducks here, some steps with the beautiful different colour bushes at the bottom. Now, how have I done with getting it all on? No, can't quite manage it. <laughs> it is one of those long, thinner diamond paintings being 45 by 85. It did say on the website that the actual diamond painting is 39 by 79. So that is the area that is to be diamond painted. And this one is a square diamond painting. If I pull back the protective cover a little bit and bring it closer to you, you can see the canvas symbols here. And you'll see that they are squares. So they, each square is outlined by a black, a grey black outline to help with the placement of the square diamonds. We, let me pop that back before I crease it over. And we do have 24 colours in this one, all capital letters, again out of order. So I would put those into alphabetical order in my storage so that I can find them easily as I'm diamond painting. So to make sure you can see the whole image, I will run it along, starting with the house at the top, all the way down. And this diamond painting is £11.25 on the website. Again, I will put the link at the bottom in the description box. So a lovely a big one, this one, with lots of details from the house, the trees, the bushes, the bridge having those colours in it, the blues of the stream, the little ducks, and then the steps, the lamp and the bushes around the bottom. Lovely. Let's have a look at the diamonds. Again, we get a basic toolkit with this one. Green tray, pink wax, single placer diamond pen, no multi-placer. And here are the diamonds. Quite a full pack, as you can imagine, with a diamond painting this size. Now, I think I asked for a special shape version of this one, but I don't think I've got the special shapes. So my link may be slightly wrong if you want to look for the square diamond painting with no special shapes. So just to make sure that you get the correct one, because I think there's two versions on the website and I think I've been sent this one instead. Okay. <gasps> oh, what lovely colours in this kit. Quite a lot of pink, as you'll see, purples, yellows. And there, the greens and the browns, as you can imagine from a landscape diamond painting. Oh, look at those. We'll do a quick run through, not long, just a quick run. Number two is the 310, so we've got three packs of 310. And then look at that bright purple there and really vivid pink, soft greens vivid yellows and then more subtle tones as well really pretty pale pink is that the same as that it is so that's the number 14 symbol we've got six packs of those browns so a lot of the similar colors throughout So there we have that one and that is the final kit. So here are all of the kits that we have unboxed. Really different variety, special shapes, squares, rounds, colour, subtle 
lots of choice on the GB FKE website. So do go there and have a look. Budget buys, I think the value is fabulous. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the variety of kits being unboxed and let me know which one is your favourite, which one would you go for? If you've enjoyed the video, please do consider liking, sharing and subscribing. It is always appreciated. I really do appreciate you all watching and your support of the channel. It really does give me a thrill to hear from you and to see that you're enjoying your own diamond painting too. So that's it for me for this video. Please do continue to diamond paint, have fun, relax and enjoy. Until next time, take care everyone. Bye.